Hallelujah. I was in prayer here uh, a couple days ago, and uh, I went into a vision, uh, a deep, deep vision. Uh, sometimes you feel like that you actually go to another place. Paul called him a trance. Uh, and sometimes uh, the visions is so strong, it feels like you actually leave the world. <clears throat> uh, and stuff like that can be so strong that you, you feel like it's a trance. Uh, uh, transformation, you know, something's going on. You know, Paul said that whether he was in the body or out of the body, he couldn't tell. And, um, but I want to I talk to you here. I began to leave my present body into a place, a realm of the spirit, a realm of the spirit world, into the heavenlies of heavens. I began to walk by a house that was well off the road. An old dirt road where I looked up and across a meadow was rolling hills. And I began to hear a voice calling my name. Timothy. Timothy. The voice was soft, but at the same time sounded like thunder. The voice was coming from the old house out across the meadows. I began to walk my way down through the beautiful hills of this pasture. And I began to see a portal, a portal ahead of me. And I, as I got closer to the old home place, there was a large like window that I was looking into, but from a distance, you could, you could not see the window. And like a portal, you was looking into a vision of time, a vision of something that was soon to happen, and also things that had already happened, already had come to pass. And as you looked out across this, this land, this valley, this uh, rolling hills, you could, you could see the old, old home place, the old house, out through a distance. But the more you begin to walk up close, there was a huge window of like a window of time that you stepped in through a portal into this place where the home was. The closer I walked to the old home place, I saw that I had walked through this window to follow the sound of the voice that was calling me. And then I stepped into the place of the spirit caught up into a vision that was so real and so powerful. Hallelujah. I then found the voice that was speaking to me and again said, come up here. I will show you a revelation, things of, of time and past times. All at once, we was in a different place and it was the capital in Washington, Washington, D.C. I was inside the Capitol building and there was some, some of the senators and the congressmen, congresswomen, people and judges, all kinds of different people that was affiliated and worked in this, in this time. Um, but these people that I seen, they were chained with chains, chained around their arms, 
chained to each other, chains, and I knew that it was a, a chain of bondage. Hallelujah. And there were spirits like there were some kind of guards of Satan. They had come to claim and carry out about 70 dead bodies from Washington, D.C. They had come from the, for the souls of the evil people that was there. And I looked and there was a large angel standing near the exit doors. I asked, what am I seeing? He said, you're seeing viral sickness that is upon the evil, that is upon the leaders of the Pentagon and America, the leaders of America, and the leaders of the country. They are dead already, he said. Hallelujah. They are dead already. They are being chained for their reward will follow them the life that they have chosen. I knew that there was a, a punishment <clears throat> that they had chose that fell in line with the scriptures that you'll reap what you sow. That if you plant bad, you're going to get bad. If you plant good, you're going to reap good. There is a price to pay. There's a price that people are paying right now for the things that they've done on the election. Hallelujah. And the time has come. This angel, as he began to speak to me and tell me that there was a viral sickness that is upon the evil leaders at the Pentagon in America. But he stressed out that the leaders in America and the Pentagon, they were selling us out. Just pure selling us out. Had already sold us out. But the time, he said, the time has come. I will close the door for them to repent. They would not take heed to my counsel. They refused to hear me and turn a deaf ear to my words. Things was happening, strange things was going on to these people. Sicknesses was, they was coming down with sicknesses that was uh, killing them. The sicknesses was bringing death on many some of them was committing suicide a spirit had come down inside the capitol inside the white house and it was a spirit of satan that had come upon the evil the lord had allowed satan to come and to destroy these evil people because they had chosen evil over good. They had chosen a time over, over the good things that we, we could have had. But they refused to hear the Lord's counsel. They refused to hear his word. You know, so the scripture says in one place that he would turn them over to a reprobate mind to believe a lie and be damned. And we are in the time right now 
that God is going to rain down on the good and he's going to rain on the bad. And we are, things as they begin to happen, I begin to see that all this was going on, deaths and suicide and different kinds of things. And I began to see how the Lord's plan was to shake the world one more time. 